Hi, this is an unboxing of the Thursday Boot Cavalier. Now, a few months ago, I purchased the Duke from Thursday Boots, and I felt it was a bit too stiff, a bit too high, maybe because I am a six foot one person, but um, it just felt too rigid as, as you walked and flexed. So, this is a bit more formal and I hope this is a little bit more flexible. So let's unbox this and uh, check it out. Crafted with integrity. Crafted. Oh God damn it. Okay. Crafted with integrity for whatever the day takes you. And uh, welcome to the Team Thursday. We hope you enjoy. Let's unbox this thing. Oh, looks like I gotta take the whole thing out. Yeah. Lost. All right, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. the, the the premium treatment. So you guys can read that. Thursday products are handcrafted in small batches using only the highest quality materials. Natural color, texture variation will occur because it's natural, just like cloth or shirts like you see in fashion places this is what makes the materials that we use and the products we design both distinct and beautiful patty qa this good job patty or not a good job let's gotta check it out first it's a little bag to store your boots for long-term storage maybe you're using it for the winter whatever's but this is good for, for short-term or long-term storage whatever the case there's a it feels like a shirt here we go so these boots I would say are gonna be lighter I am going to weigh this 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 this, this <clears throat> This uses full grain leather. Nah, let me just pick it up this first. Ah, this looks fresh, clean. Looks like this is not second hand. This looks like it's first hand. I'm glad, because I like to be the first one putting their foot in there, as as do everyone else who first opens up something freshly packed. This looks like it has not been used once. A little something there, I'm not sure what. But uh, it's nice, it's lighter. I'm going to weigh it. And uh, let's check it out. So this is the side. This is the bottom. Get lost. This is the bottom. Is actually leather. Not bad. So this really straddles the line between um, contemporary and practical. Practical meaning this, and contemporary is this. Like, who on God of uses leather as a stepping surface? It's, it's just not practical. You'll slip and slide everywhere if it's a smooth surface. Happy face. I like that. The goring is pretty good. Full glove leather in, in the inside. Well, you can see that. Point to the light. Pointing to the light. Okay. This feels like rubber-ish. And uh, there's some lines there, but that's, I guess it's okay. A little bit of 
a tip there. I'm not sure. My, my feet are wide, and I don't think anyone's feet really sh is shaped like this. This is more like the contemporary style, but I hope it's going to be okay. Let's bend it a little bit. It doesn't flex much. That's what I'm worried about. But this is a full Goodyear welt. And uh, maybe that's what makes it so rigid. Maybe that's the style. Or is that chipped? Yeah. Intentional. Uh, uh, I don't think that's temp. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I'm pretty sure the other side's not going to be like that. Uh, let's check the other one. I'm assuming that one is not going to have a little nick on the side. Oh, I'm wrong. It's intentional somehow. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is reason for this madness. This is the other side. So that's where the bolting ends. Looks like this has never ever been laid upon from another person, which is great. Here's the back side of the other shoe. I like it, I like it, I'm glad this is on the other side too. So let's weigh these things. Fashionable thing. So let's weigh this. Um, this is in grams. So let's change it to um, pounds. So each boot, I don't know if you could see it, let me just actually adjust it. So each boot is 1.2 pounds. 1.26 pounds and in grams kilograms, 0.5 kilograms but in grams it's 573 grams per boot I guess that's what you expect from a, from a quality boot it's gonna be a little bit heavy now the next test which is the usability without bending it because uh, you don't want to return it See that? Okay. It's, bit, it's better than the Duke. I'm happy about that. It's lighter than the Duke. Bend test. Ah, yeah. Okay, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Here's the back side. I would say the traction on this thing is isn't that good. This is a formal boot for the most part. It'll probably be better on concrete or some, some somewhat to a rough surface than this floor here. It looks very stylish. Looks like it could go with a lot of jeans or contrasty jeans with this boot. My feet, my toes, they seem to be doing okay. But with natural leather, it may expand to your Portions. And there's a cork bed, which will also make it more personable to, to your taste as it depresses and conforms to the weight of your body. But I will. I think this is pretty good compared to the Duke. This is a better, better shoe. I mean, if you want, if you are a bit of a short, compromised individual, the Duke would be a better bet. But if you're tall and you want something a little bit lighter and more fashionable, and you're in a budget of like around 
190 actually this is but with tax it's like 200 in the in the new york so I, I would say this is pretty good i i might keep it um hope you enjoyed the video leave me any comments or anything else you want me to test Flexibility test. See ya.